G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is we're going to be having a look at how to work out the unknown sides on a right angle triangle, okay? Using this really, really great little uh, theorem that was discovered by this guy about two and a half thousand odd years ago in, in ancient Greece, this guy called Pythagoras. In fact, it was that cool theorem they named it after him, this is called Pythagoras' theorem. So, basically, the theorem of Pythagoras is this it says for any right angle triangle, this is a triangle that has 90 degree angle here, we often put a little uh, square little thing down there to show that it's 90 degrees. It says that in a right angle trial, the longest side we're going to call here the hypotenuse can be worked out. Okay, so first I'll write this great word off. Hypotenuse. Okay, I'll start all this again. So for any right angle triangle, the longest side is known as this hypotenuse. And the theorem of Pythagoras states that you can add the squares of the lengths of these two shorter sides here, so you get the square of this side and the square of this side, and if you add them together, they're going to be equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Okay, did you get that there? So the way that they write this is, is this. They, they have given these guys letters, and you probably might have, uh, you may or may not, this may be the first time you've heard of these. They call the shorter sides A and B, and this hypotenuse here C and it leads to this really 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 often used formula in maths which is this one that A squared this side here the number squared plus B squared this side here squared equals C squared okay this one here and that's for a right angle triangle and this is a really really great Thing to be using. You can use this in carpentry when you're trying to square up things and make walls go at a 90 degree angle. So it's a really, really great little method of working out uh, unknown diagonals, unknown sides, squaring up things that you want to be 90 degrees here. Okay, so it's a great little thing to be able to use. So let's use this uh, theory, this theorem right now. Okay, and you're going to be given examples like this one. Okay, so we have here we have a couple of shorter sides here. We're going to work off just these shorter sides to work out this longer side to start off with. Then I'll make another video where we can do the other ones where we work off we work these shorter sides out. So, say for instance we wanted to work out the length of this longer side from here through to here. The way we can do this is using Pythagoras' theorem. Okay, so a squared plus b squared. I want to get back to, the, oh, this is a really important triangle, this one in particular, equals C squared. We know it's a right angle triangle, it's got it here, and I wouldn't put it in there if it wasn't, okay? Because we're also going to look at how we can deal with triangles that are not right angle triangle in uh, some other videos, how we can work out unknown sides on those. So, first off, it doesn't matter which one you call A or B, as long as you recognise that A and B are the two shorter sides. So, let's call this one A and this one B. So, A squared is... 3 squared plus b squared, which is 4 squared, equals c squared. Okay, 3 squared is 9 plus 4 squared, 4 times 4, which is 16, and this is equal to c squared. Now, I'm running out of space here, so I'm going to say this also equals 9 plus 16. What does that equal? This is equal to 25. Okay, so if c squared equals 25, this this means that c times c equals 25. We can work out c by working out the square root of 25. Okay, what number we times by itself to get 25? And the answer to this is 5, because 5 times 5 is 25. So our longest side here is 5 centimeters and this is such an important little triangle this this is known as a okay so we go to three and a four and a five and often when i'm teaching a bunch of carpentry guys who i teach i often really stress the importance of this one because you don't necessarily have to remember a squared b squared c squared all the time when you're squaring up walls but the major thing that you can do is if you want to actually get a wall coming out at 90 degrees is you can use this idea of a three four five triangle. Okay, we actually call this a three, four, five triangle. Okay, 
and it can be worked out using Pythagoras' theorem. But if you can do this and you have your tape measures, you can work this out and you can measure from here to here is three metres. And this wall that you want, can say, the way I'd usually do it is I'd get, this would be the wall I'd be putting in and I'd put a three metre coming outwards there and I'd have it from this point here also five metres and where they meet up should be 90 degrees. So it's a great little way of actually also working out 90 degrees from a point. Okay, let's have a look at another example here. So say we had this particular example. How do we work out this hypotenuse here? It's a right angle triangle where we can use this a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, so a squared, I'm going to call a this time, this one down here. Okay, why not? Okay, so this is 9 squared plus b squared, which is 2 squared equals c squared. Okay, 9 squared, 9 nines are 81 plus 4 squared, uh, 2 squared, which is 4, is going to be c squared, which is equal to 81 plus 4, which is 85. Okay, so what we could do is we could actually call this, um, we could work out this as a third and that sort of deal, which I've looked at in other videos as well. But um, for this, I'm just going to actually come out with a fairly uh, rough answer using a calculator. Okay, so if we were to get 85, we can work out the square root of this by going inverse x squared. So it's 9.219. So we're just going to call this 9.2. So this is equal to 9.2. I probably should be saying that c is equal to the square root of 85. So c is equal to 9.2 centimetres. Jeez, I hope I put my units up there. I didn't. It's, it's really bad. Okay, this is centimetres. Okay, I'll give myself a big cross if I didn't put that in there. Okay, really important you put the units in there. I sometimes forget as well. Okay, let's have a look at another example. So say we had here 12 centimetres and 7 centimetres. Again, the same formula. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. All right, let's substitute in some values here. So let's call A squared 12 here. Okay, so 12 squared plus B squared, 7 squared equals C squared. Okay, so 12 12s, 144 plus 7 squared, 7 7s are 49, and this equals C squared, which is equal to 49 plus 144 is 193. Okay, 193. Uh, that means C is going to be equal to the square root of 193. And that, off the top of my head, I don't know, I'll be honest. So I'm going to go 193 uh, inverse square. Oh, I think I got the wrong one there. Let's type that in again. 193 inverse square is 13.89. Okay. 13.89. Ah, better put units in, eh? Centimetres. Okay. So, how did you go with this? Um, now, the next video I'm going to be putting up here is we're going to be looking at how we can work out these unknown sides here. And then we're going to look at how we can work out uh, if the triangle is not quite 90 degrees, what we can do then. Okay, so hopefully I'll see you then. See you next time. Bye.